you can see him on camera. All right, we'll tell him. All right, guys, we're live. I'm trying to set this thing up real fast for everybody. Let me set this all up. Hold on one second, guys. We're we're trying to set this up so we can uh, film this live, and we're also filming it for a catch clean cook. Okay, Ellie, can you see me good? Is my head cut off? Uh, I don't know. You gotta get up there and look. Yeah. Hold on one second. My head's cut off. My head's cut off. Oh no. <laughs> All right, make sure this is um, lined up, babe. See if you can see my head. Yeah, it needs to go up a little more. Right, well, so we still wanna see the armadillo. Hey guys, so we're gonna be cooking armadillo. Just give us a second. We're trying to get the camera angle right. We are gonna be filming this one for a, uh, for a catch clean cook, for a full video, but we thought you guys may wanna join us for this live, so. You want me just live. hold it? No, cause you're gonna be filming something else. Just set it down. It's cutting yeah. your head off still. Huh? It's well, bring your it head up off. a little bit. Bring it up some. Here, first, let's go. Oh, yeah. And then let's point it down, maybe. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Let's see. Good? Now I can't see the armadillo. <laughs> I'll, I'll pick it up. The light behind is. Okay, the light behind you is glaring. Turn that light off. Alright, light off. This one, too? Yeah, there you go, yeah. Yeah. Take that better? That, take that one off. Take that off too. Yes. Okay. Trying to get this thing right. We can't really see this until we turn until we go live, guys. So you are in our kitchen. Our ginormous kitchen. Okay. We're fixing to go live to cook for you guys. So we're gonna bust out an ingredient that most people have never ever seen, tasted, cooked, maybe on YouTube. We're gonna cook it right here. Guys, what I have. Let's start all these cameras, babe. Uh, hit that one and hit this one. Okay. I think they're all on. Guys, look at that. Armadillo. If you've never seen armadillo before, it's super fatty. I mean, it's gorgeous. It has no crazy smell. And we caught, we, uh, we shot these the other night and we are going to cook them for you guys right here so bear with us because we are doing this as a full-on video so we will be doing some some editing and stuff so you guys are going to watch it from start to finish okay so what i've got first i'm going to rinse my hands off i've got our armadillo right here then i'm going to start with some seasoning salt and i've got some of this wild fork uh lavender rosemary which sounds really good. And my salt and my pepper as well. So I'm gonna turn this induction cooktop on, I think. Is it plugged in? It's plugged there in. There it goes. And I'm gonna do, um, we're gonna do stir fry. There we go. That's gonna get hot real quick. Now, I'm going to keep from doing a whole lot of oil in this because this armadillo is very fatty and I know as we render it, the fat is just going to fly off of it and it's going to be like cooking bacon. That's how much fat is on this thing. Is this one got the... No, it doesn't. So, we're going to start one piece here and we're going to see how it cooks down. Has anyone ever eaten armadillo? If you guys are watching the video, comment, please. If you Dennis ever... Llewellyn says, does that taste like iguana? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, this is going to be our first time doing it. Uh, did you guys eat any of that, uh, that iguana that you guys had when you guys came with me? So let me know because this has got a little bit more fat than the iguana does. Doris says hello. <laughs> hey, Doris. All right. I'm going to cook that. That looks like a, um, I think that was a front leg piece. Sandy says it tastes like chicken. <laughs> well, we're fixing to find out, Sandy, and you guys are going to be right here with us. I've got some front legs pieces, too. So, 
Well, if it tastes like chicken, this this uh, rosemary lavender is going to be perfect for it. Hit that with a little salt, a little Lowry's, and a little black pepper. Darren's been eating armadillo for a long time. Really? Yes. Darren, what did you? How do you cook yours? Let me know. Do you pan fry it or boil it? A lot of people boil it. I wanted to try something. I mean, look how it's just beautiful, guys. That's beautiful meat right there. I'm cooking the fat side down first. I'm going to lower the temperature just a tad bit. I don't want to burn it. Curried. Curry? Okay. Dar Darren says curried. <laughs> Curry does sound good. I got a big old thick leg piece here. So I'm going to try I'm just excited because it's so fatty that I'm looking forward to it. Does anyone that eats eats food, you know, stuff dries out? Like we got a we did a rabbit catch clean and cook, and the you know rabbit dries out because it doesn't have any fat, but this has a lot of fat, and so I'm pretty excited about it. Are what I'm going to do, clean? I'm going to render it slowly because if you turn the heat up too high on anything that has a lot of fat, you'll burn the fat. But if you heat it slowly, you can actually get that <coughs> that fat rendered off. <coughs> Woo! I'm not choking on this. <coughs> you might want to turn the fan on. I swallowed some. Uh, it may get a little loud in here. All right. There we go. What about squirrel? Has anyone eaten squirrel, rabbit? Are those norms for everybody? Alright. I'm going to season up the rest of this. We're going to fix this one. And I'm going to season the rest of this for the rest of the family. Because this is this is our dinner tonight. Linda's got some potatoes in the oven. And she said, honey, we got to eat that armadillo so it butter tastes good. So, I'm all about it. Oh, that rosemary smells so good. I don't normally like rosemary. It seems like it's a very pungent um, seasoning. But, for some reason, that wild pork seasoning is just amazing. We got that when we were in uh, Miami. There was a restaurant that had wild game, and it was called Wild Fork. It was really good. We got a whole bunch in. One of our chicken videos, actually, if you guys watched back uh, last year, one of our chicken videos, we used the same stuff when we killed a bunch of our chickens when we, got, uh, we had too many roosters. And we killed all those chickens, and we cooked all of them. And some of them we did with rosemary, and it was delicious. So who all's on there tonight, babe? Um, I don't know. I don't know how to get back to it. <laughs> Can't see the comments. I need a little bit more. Potatoes are done. Are they? You gotta check. <laughs> uh huh? You gotta check. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna slide these out of the way until we're gonna cook one batch at a time here. Clean as we go, guys. Clean as you go. That's the motto in the military chef world. Heck, that's the motto in the chef world, period. Clean as you go. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that fat cooking off of there. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Yes. See, that, was that, that fire was just up a little bit too hot, I think, when I first started. I cook these down, and I wish I had some chicken stock. I would add some chicken stock and braise it, but I think we're just going to pan fry it and then throw it in the oven. My wife has prepped me a pan. I'm going to put a little bit of butter on that pan. I 
have spray, honey. We got the spray? Where's the spray? In the cabinet. You can tell I don't I don't uh cook enough in this kitchen. This is this is Linda's domain. No, the cabinet. This one. Yes. There we go. Top right. That's coke. That's avocado. It doesn't matter. It's just non stick spray. It'll work. <laughs> Alright. There we go. I could see, Darren, I could see how this could be a really good curry. Alright guys, so we're cooking the uh, armadillo here. We've got a nice little browned off section on the bottom on the fat layer. We just flipped it over and we're going to slowly cook it. Got the oven ready and we'll be popping it in the oven to finish it off here in just a minute. It's going to get a little hotter. Ooh. Ellie, come here. Smell this. Smell that. That's good. You gonna check the potatoes on them? Huh? Yeah, let me check them. Oh yeah, they're done. They're over done. Is that a hot pepper? No. Stick it on top. <laughs> there we go. What's the comments? Ellie, you want to read the comments for us? Sure. No, you can't. I don't know how to get to them. Oh, you got to touch it? I don't know how to touch it. Oh, Ellie, you know what? You can go to the live on Mom's phone. Okay. Right, my phone. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look how yeah. gorgeous that looks. Yummy. Ooh. It's a little Does anyone out there have an induction cooktop? These things are the coolest thing. This one gets hot because it's got a glass top. But we just saw that... Um, we just saw that... You can take these induction cooktops and put them under marble or um, or granite or whatever one of those, and you can actually set your pan directly on top of it, and it'll cook. And the, and if you put a little pad between them and make pads for them, the marble or granite won't even get hot. It's we crazy. We're gonna. I think we're gonna try to put it in our house. Oh man, babe, this <laughs> looks so good. This is going to be amazing. I'm going to kill every armadillo on our property. <laughs> the other night we shot three. There's a lot of chat. I meant, um, um, uh, I meant comments. Just read the latest one. Yeah, let's read them. Okay. Um. I'm just going to read... So check it out, guys. I'm just gonna make them Look how beautiful it! It's caramelizing. It looks so good. That big meaty back legs on this one. It was a giant armadillo. He's got like a thick layer of fat. I'm trying to caramelize that fat real nicely. Daniel? I'm gonna stick them on the pan and start cooking them in the oven. I think this would be perfect if it was braised. If I had like a Dutch oven and we could put some onions and potatoes and carrots and celery in it and some chicken stock, brown these off real nicely and put them in there, this would probably be a perfect uh, item to put in a Dutch oven. And something like Darren said, it would be really good as a curry. Yeah, I can see that. Rama says she has a convection oven in her her microwave, and it's also an air fryer. Oh yeah, yeah, that's an that's a, an air fryer there. 
Rainbow, we love it. Matter of fact, you know, RVs don't come with an oven. It just has the stove. But because we we got this induction counter, uh, this little cooker, my wife wanted the air fryer and put it on top of it. So we, we don't even use our propane stove. We only use this cooktop and the air fryer. Okay, speaking of which, I am going to go ahead and pull these off and get these in the oven and start this little piece and we'll start the next batch. Okay, guys, that's what they look like prior to going in the oven. I'll throw them in the oven. I got my next batch. The stove's really nice and hot. Look at the, I mean, just the layer of fat that's on that, guys. The layer of fat is so awesome. I love fat. And if this is anything like pork fat, it'll be cool. If it's like deer fat, not going to be good. I don't know what it is about deer fat, but deer fat, Gammy. I wish it was juicy, but it gets hard and it sticks to the roof of your mouth. You know, I like that fat that turns to liquid. So, uh, guys, the um, we have the pad scraped out behind the RV. Monday, they're coming to dig out the footers, and uh, I'm still trying to kill a giant buck. Every day, I drag my camera equipment up into the stand in the morning and the evening, and I'm trying to get this big buck on the ground, but he is eluding me. This morning was the closest I've been. He came in in the dark. He got to within like four yards of me and looked up. And he came from an area I didn't expect him to come. And looked up at me and uh, took off. I was devastated, to say the least. But we had a good day at church. And we still haven't picked a church that we want to like stay at. We've been trying a few different churches and just trying to see what's out there around us and trying to find where maybe the kids have more a lot more um, friends so I'm wondering if I could fit that other piece in here yeah, yeah. there we go problem is when you crowd stuff like that you get um, it doesn't brown as well and it just ends up you know, steaming. You don't get that, that caramelizing edge. So I think this is the first time that we've ever cooked live, and I don't know how many cooking sessions most people do live. It takes so long to do a live cooking, but we will show you if you want to watch. Let me see that camera. I'm going to show everyone what we got going on here. Hopefully my camera, my, my phone don't fall out. Look, there's Linda over there. She's, uh, she's filming for the video. That induction top cooktop does good, guys. It really does. I've got it set to 428 degrees, and it gets that way super fast, too. You don't have to wait a long time for it to heat up. Maddie's, Maddie's up there playing on the, her game. And uh, this, is, this is how we have the, a camera rigged. It's on a ladder, leaned up against the chair. We got another camera there. This is how we make things happen. In the trailer, it's just tight, you know? What are you gonna do? The boys are, let me show you the boys. 
Don't judge us for our uh, our trailer, though. Here's the boys. Boys, you're live. Say hi. hi. Oh, he's sleeping? Golly. He knocked out. Hey. I'm on the household. Okay, let's get back to the cooking here. It smells so good. That lavender rosemary seasoning is. Grandma said, tell, tell us how you cleaned it. Huh? So, oh. <laughs> if you want to see how I cleaned it, the full Catch Clean Cook video is going to be put together in a few weeks. And I clean it from start to finish, the whole thing, Rayma. So, I just, I'm, I'm doing live today just to cook it. We're trying to make the video here. But, uh, and I thought you guys might want to see this. But here in a few weeks, you're gonna see that you'll be able to see the whole video. This even this even this portion is gonna be on it, and it's got me, it's got us harvesting them and cleaning them and cooking them. So, Dora says it does say that it can be dangerous. Okay. So there there are dangers to armadillo. They are known to carry leprosy as a, as a bacteria, but we're gonna cook the snot out. Before we eat it, and we're gonna pray for it. By the way, you know Jesus did heal a man with leprosy. Actually, he healed a couple people with leprosy. Mm -hmm. Linda's face when I said that. Her face went. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna eat that. They can't just be creatures for, you know, tearing stuff up. They've gotta have a reason to be on this earth. And if they've got muscle, then I'm gonna eat them. Alright, let's do a little bit of filming for the video real quick. Ready? Okay guys, well, I've been cooking this for about seven minutes. Got a nice little crisp uh, edge on it. I've got a few pieces in the oven, in the air fryer, letting that cook. And we're just trying to get all the sides of this armadillo nice and brown before we put it in the air fryer. And like I said, this is the this is the main seasoning that we're using from Wild Fork. Yeah. Am I sponsored by Wild Fork? No I'm not. But I'm the kind of guy that if I have something and it's really good, I want everyone to know about it. And these seasonings from Wild Fork. Fire drill! Fire right. drill! All right, Ellie, go and get it, Ellie. <laughs> get it. <laughs> Is your fan out on? Yeah, it's on. <laughs> Try to open the door. All right, let's do it. Let me go open the door. The screen. Then open the door and screen. Hey. That is. That's the reality of the trailer. Uh -oh. Is when you're cooking. Sometimes the little the little vent doesn't really take all the smoke out. I can't wait till we start cooking in our new house. We're gonna have a really big island. It's gonna be beautiful. Oops. This is what happens behind the scenes on the real videos. Here, Linda, let's do the videos real quick. Have yeah. comments. If anyone has a new comment. Oh, I see. It looks like rabbit. They boil if they think it's too fat. So, who said that? Um, Rayma. So, it's a lot more fatty than rabbit. And the meat is way more red than rabbit meat. Um... 
And I'm, I'm excited about the fat layer, the, the fat content on it, really. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Want to use some chicken? All right, we're going to pull all the rest of the armadillo out. Try not to uh, set the fire alarm off. Give it, Ellie, give it! All right. <laughs> There's that. And this thing, we've already turned it off, so it's it doesn't stay hot. It literally starts cooling off immediately. Okay. <laughs> Ellie, okay. That's enough, Ellie. That's enough, Ellie. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So now it's the waiting game. So now we've just got to wait on the armadillo to finish off in the oven. We want the temperature to reach 165 degrees, just like you would for poultry or for chicken. Uh, that's going to kill all the bacteria. Right? Yeah. Right, kiddo? You don't want fat bacteria. We don't want bacteria. What did you say? Fat bacteria? <laughs> Suck it in. Suck it in. Well, you, you keep talking about the fat. We don't want the fat to have bacteria. No. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the armadillo. Yeah. And me. Okay. You know what time it is? I hope the fire alarm doesn't go off again. It's time for drinking some water. That, what's that one guy say? That uh, stale cracker? He says, while we wait, we gotta hydrate. <laughs> I think mean, that's what he says. Well, he hydrates with beer. I'm gonna hydrate with water. Mm. Nothing happening. Hey, Just show, get all your art. Where's your art stuff? Show everybody what you've been drawing. Here, you can go through the comments while you're waiting. <laughs> Okay, let me see the comments here. Let's see what everyone's saying. Uh, so, Doris, I don't know what it tastes like yet, Doris. Um, what's up, Justin? Justin t tuned in. Hey, Lady J. Uh, let's see, Sandy Manning. You may want to check. I believe it's, uh, it's quartz countertops that doesn't hold heat and mess up your counters. Yeah, so... Quartz is probably the one that does it the best. I know I talked to the granite guy, and he said if you're using granite, you would definitely have to have some kind of buffer where that granite won't get hot because it can mess up the granite. He said marble would be a lot harder, so I don't know. I don't know what kind of countertops it was, but it was really awesome. Uh, so if you look into it more, I don't. I don't know. So if you're saying it's it's the quartz, it might be the quartz. But I think, isn't the quartz, that's the... That's the most expensive. No, the porcelain <laughs> was the most expensive. The quartz was expensive, too. Okay, yeah. Go right there. It's right there. Here, stand right here and show them like that. So Ellie's been doing a lot of drawing lately. I almost finished my whole sketch, but it's uh, a lot of pages. You got to do it right in front of the camera. I, I only got, like... Right, go up there. Go up there and do it. I was... I started off like not that good and then I got better at drawing. Ice cream, milk, kitty milk, and then I got a nice flower base. Do it slow, do it slow because sometimes the camera just no, lower, lower, lower. I got, oh, okay, I right got there. Um, like cookies and a drink. That's nothing. Mm, I have cute much. drinks mm. that are like cloudy, hot chocolate and stuff to eat it and drink it with. Lady J and said, very I good got, job, Ellie. I got boba tea, I got chocolate, I got ice cream again, popsicle, s'mores, boba tea's my favorite, that's why it's in the middle. I made a lot of jars. These and a heart, um, key lock. Deer, it's kind of like my deer, like except for without the antlers, because the guts came out for no reason. Little acorn. <laughs> a cute unicorn pencil pops with pop it. Pop it phone case. 
Uh, nothing. Yeah. I got a little PC set up. I got a little crown. I think I'm going to move that to the bottom. A, a Christmas tree. Little Grinch. Snow ball. Mm -hmm. I got a monster. <laughs> Grandma says, good job, Ellie. You're doing really good. Yeah. This is a Christmas tree. This is gingerbread house. Alright, let me go and hold the word. Uh, cookies and off. milk for... Oh. Let's set that camera off right there for a second. You don't see that word right, Dad. Huh? That one little word. It said, hi, Dad. That's oh, you put hi, Dad on there? Look at that. It's <laughs> tiny. <laughs> what did it say? What? It, what oh, which one? <laughs> I don't know what it says. F-A-T. You called me <laughs> fat? Uh, but if you eat the cookies, it will. <laughs> it will become the like, Santa Claus. Okay. And then I got monster, baby monster. I got a present. I got a 3D hole. It's not circle, but it's nice. I got an alicorn. It's like a unicorn. This means, if you don't know, I have a Roblox Snoop. It's like a video game. Uh, character. Uh, I have an elephant made out of the, um, made out of fives. It's made out of fives? Yeah, if you look at it, that, that, uh -huh. that, and that are fives. Four fives. And then this pretty sunset. I think that one's really pretty. Yeah, and I'm making it another one. Christmas Hello Kitty. Everyone should know what Hello Kitty is. And thing from Adam's family, the hand. It's called Thing. And this was the one I was working on behind the scenes. Super creepy. And look, I have this much left of my sketchbook to go. And a whole nother sketchbook to keep going on. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did other yeah, where's all the right? where's all the ones that you were like the split page ones? Yeah. Justin oh, said you're they're cool in my folder. Justin said that she's a cool draw, cool drawings. Yeah, she does okay, good. Right back. B -R -B. <laughs> all right, so just to just to kind of catch you guys up, like I said, the pad has been scraped down, the footings are been dug, and this weekend, me and the boys cut down a bunch of trees and trimmed them up. And we're uh, going to be cleaning up the pond because we're going to be extending the pond within the next couple weeks. We're going to be using the excavator and the tractors and digging out our pond and extending it. So it'll be a big pond in front of our house. So a lot of work. You'll be seeing that in the next upcoming videos. Okay, let's see what Ellie's drawings are. Okay, so first, Woo! I didn't really draw this one. Maddie gave it to me. But I tried drawing something like this. Kind of you didn't good. draw it? Maddie drew it. Maddie drew that? She gave it to me. From you drew that? Video. Huh? From a YouTube video. Okay, these are my favorite ones. I'll save the best for last. This one is Venom versus Carnage. If you don't know what that is, it's like a bad version of Venom. Even though Venom's still bad. And um, he has extra spikes and she's stronger. And that's Close it again and then open it. Ah! <laughs> then this one's super good. And I did the shading perfectly with the same shade of gray. That's Godzilla versus Mega Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> that's Mega Godzilla, that's Godzilla. It looks super cool. Yeah, this one's like a robot one. That's why it has like not not real teeth. And this is like when you open your mouth, you have like side parts, that's the side part. This one's robot, so it doesn't have any. That's a spike, and that's a Robot spikes. Alright, John Baba says, you're an artist, Ellie. Yeah. Val I said, want, I oh, Val, Val missed the cooking. <laughs> yes. It's okay, Val. You'll be able to watch it 
You'll be able to watch the live video. We'll upload it in HD once we're all done with it. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> DJ says, you nice tractor you got. Thank you. I hope I'm an artist when I grow up. I hope to be one. Oh. Val says, those are scary, Ellie. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh Dora says, that, so that is great, Ellie. This is scary. Mm -hmm. okay. Who said scary? Hey, Joanne. Mm -hmm. Who said Girl, scary? Val. Val says it's scary. <laughs> Mr. Danny says, awesome, Ellie. Yeah. I this, love showing off this my This is going to be my number one tool for tonight. We want to definitely make sure all that meat gets to 165 or over. We may have to eat this a little bit um, a little bit more done. It's kind of scary. This is not one of those things where you just get sick overnight. Leprosy is a serious thing, so could be killing my entire family right now. <laughs> but I hope not. But people have been eating it for years and years. I mean, the, I guess there are cases that where armadillos cause uh, leprosy, but it's not in all of them. So, and we're gonna cook it out of it. I don't know where we're at cooking here. The ones on the right have been there longer. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to try one of those. I'm going to use a clean plate here. One on the right. One the one's left. I don't know. You're the one put it in there. Yeah, I think it's these ones right here. Can I join the cooking? Well, I'm going to... Donovan killed the armadillo, Lady J. <laughs> All right, we're going we're gonna to check the temperature on this. Can you read this? What's this gauge say? 140. 140. We got to get to 165. That means we got to hit the 50. And so these are by 20. So it's got to hit that next white mark. So it's not there. Let's put it back in. Okay, 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 okay. We are not there yet. Open the door. Yes, sir. We're about 150 degrees right now. We want to get all the way to 165. Don't touch that. That doesn't help. Clean that all the way up here. Okay. Can I eat it? You know, it's funny that a lot of people, uh, you know, as being a chef for 20 years in the military, sanitation is sanitation and and uh, foodborne illness is a big thing of like making sure you don't cause that. Because nothing takes down troops faster than, you know, a belly bug or something. Ended. All right, let's add more time. Babe, how do you have more time? Hit the start button. Start. Start. Boom. There we go. Um, yeah. And so, mm -hmm. going to serve safe and, uh, you know, learning all the temperatures of what to cook meats to, super important. And because that is one of the main things that can, like I said, take down a whole military crew. On Even combat, you. and Can't big thing you. is not cooling your leftovers down properly, uh, not reheating your food up to the proper temperature. So leftovers should be reheated to 165, and all foods need to be cooled down to, uh, I believe it is to below 70 within two hours, and then below 40 within an additional four hours. Don't quote me on it right now, but. You definitely want to cool your food down. So ice baths and stuff like that. And where people mostly get sick is in Thanksgiving. When people cook food and it's been sitting in someone else's house that cooked it that morning. Got two or three hours it's sitting cooling as they go to dinner. And then it sits on the table for another two hours. And then everyone eats it. And the flavor it tastes amazing. And then you, it's four hours later your stomach's hurting. You don't know what's going on. You have minor foodborne illness. 
So it's important that you keep your, your cooking times as close to when the event's going to happen for your travel and all that instead of cooking your stuff way too early and bringing it over and getting everybody sick. And then also your leftovers after it's all sliced up. Everyone leaves it on the table for people to pick at and eat through lunch and dinner or whatever. Like you need to get that stuff in the refrigerator, chill it down, and then bring it out and reheat it for sandwiches because I love a good salt and pepper sliced turkey sandwich after Thanksgiving. Reheated mayonnaise, toasted bread. Oh, so good. We Maddie, barely had anything uh, turkey this Thanksgiving. Like Maddie because she likes when, like, she doesn't really like the mac and cheese just made. She likes when it's cooled down and reheated. And then she eats The it. what? The mac and cheese? Yeah, just when it's cool. Lady J says, I when will the house build her. start? So, Lady J, the, uh, the pad has been scraped and footings are going to be dug Monday. And so, um, so they it's should Monday. start building it very soon. So I should be starting to knock those videos out. You'll probably start seeing stuff in a week or two. I've got a few videos ahead of that that I'm editing and, and working on right now. Um, and then we're going to start putting them very raw, not a lot of editing. It's just going to be a lot of in your face, exactly like it's going on. Chop, chop, chop. And the video will be done. So, uh, And then maybe something that I've been working on. So just look forward to those videos. And moving your hand when you're I can't. I'm a fidgeter. Someone. I'm a fidgeter. This is me fidgeting. Someone. Like most people that talk, I can't talk like this. Like I, when I watch some movie Talladega it? Nights, it was like, I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands. Just put them next to your side. Heart <laughs> ran real good. <laughs> so I can't. I just, I'm a fidgeter. Anyone else out there that's a fidgeter, you can't sit still Mine. when you. No, mom's not a fidgeter. Well, mom can stand still and do stuff. She doesn't notice. Yeah, but one time she let him call, and it wasn't even like FaceTime or something. She like, you know, when it's like this, that, this, that, this, that. Oh. <laughs> She's moving her yeah, hand. Everybody, everybody does that. I, I everybody asked talks why she with their did hands. that, and she was like, I didn't do that. No. I you know what that's called? Like that. I think that's called mannerisms. What's that? Like the way you talk and do stuff like that. I think it's called mannerisms. Someone Google it, mannerisms. Look it up for me. I believe that's what it's called. That's phone too. Huh? Oh, wait, never mind. Your phone's right there. Oh. Oh, Daddy, what's, what's your favorite? Uh, you want to sing to everybody? No. Yes, <laughs> Ellie, you can sing. No, no. Hey, no. Maddie's our senior. <laughs> sing for us, I honey. Think. Mary, did you know? Huh? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect lamb? <laughs> I may have messed up this verse, but I can cook great ham. And Mary, I can like did you know? <laughs> I don't know all the verses in a row. Okay, well, maybe you should let me sing first and then go along with it. Okay. <laughs> Miss Sandy said, Ellie, you have the fidgets too. You talk with all your right. hands too. Ready? Go. Heaven's perfect lamb. Trot. When 
When you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. When we see the dead will live again. The lame will leave, the dumb will speak, the praises of the Lamb. Your baby boy was Lord of all creation. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nation? Did you know that your baby boy? I'm waiting on you! <laughs> You're holding is the great I am. Oh, Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know? And I. I like All right, let's check on this. Sorry if we hurt you guys' eardrums. <laughs> We gotta redo that part because we weren't filming. Okay. Put it back in. We're filming? We're filming. Here we go. Alright, guys. We just pulled her out of the oven. She's still popping. Let's look at this stuff. Alright, where's the one? This is with the big one, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna. I got it right here. Shoot. Shoot. I want to open it. Aww. <laughs> All right, let's check it now. On the video, I would love it. They love me. Oh, it's up. It's going up. Yep, it's going to get there. Oh, it's going to get there. It's going to get there. It's going to get there. Oh, it's going to get there. Come on, Joe. Oh, there it comes, sir. Yeah, it made it. No, we got to get the 65, 165. What? You said what? No, I didn't. Yes. What about the other pieces? Oh They're not done yet. 160. Okay, this piece, I believe this piece is going to be done. I'm going to stick the rest of this in the oven, back in the oven. We're going to let it cook a little longer, Ellie. Except that little piece is probably done right there. I bet you that little can piece I, is can done. Can I stab this in it so it suffers? Until it suffers? What? So it suffers. Okay. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Yeah, it's hot. So this is the front. Die. This is the front leg, and you want it's good. you want to it's always good. check the temperature as close to the bone as you can. Okay, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Look, look at the temperature. Wow. Okay, that's, guys. There's uh, the temperature. <laughs> you can see it. Can you see it in the camera? Can you see that? The autofocus is not on. It's just. All right, right there, 165. What are you doing? I ate the burnt part. Okay, so I know that it I'm is trying, fully I'm cooked. Trying, I'm trying. Okay, let's, let's get a fork. I'll be the first one to eat it. This will be good with rice. Mm -hmm. Such a baby boy, live one day walk on water. All right. All right, Ellie. We're just gonna have to dive into it. Hey, me first. No, me first, cause I'll die first. Uh -huh. If if it's poison. <laughs> no, Barrett, you made excuse. It's not poison, cause I already licked it. Okay. My turn. My turn. My. Oh yeah, I'm lady like, so I don't have to bite into it. <laughs> just get the steak knife. It's, it's a little hard. bit tough. Tough because we're cooking it don't so tell fast. Me That's how what I it said. Is. I want to see how it is. All right, hold on. I'll just right. it from there. Where is the steak knife? Drawer. Which one? The other one. Top. You got it, Ellie? Top left. Drop the fork. Left. Oh, I found it. Alright. 
Okay. Alright, get it I would probably say the best way to cook this would be to braise it 100% or curry like Darren said. Something where you're having a liquid cooked into it as well. Alright, so is it hot? Yeah, it's hot right there. So here's what it looks like guys. The meat's fully cooked. Not bad. Um, I think it resembles a lot like like rabbit, honestly. Um, it tastes way better. Okay. But it's good. All right, you eat it, Ellie. Maddie, you want to try a bite? She can't get down. Okay, I'll give you a bite. Come on, guys. Let's see if Maddie will eat this. Mm, it's hot. Oh. <laughs> it tastes so good. It tastes super good. Yeah? Yeah, like super yummy. That that lavender uh, rosemary is good, ain't it? It only tastes good as a grilled catfish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing? Grilled catfish. Mm. Okay, well, guys, you've seen it here live. Give we're me cooked. more. Uh, oh, me. What? It's a daughter. I get more. Okay, here, you take it. Okay. Mm. It's actually really good. Oh, you know. And, um, oh, it's gonna be, we're going to have dinner. We're going to be having some potatoes. Mm -hmm. Let the rest of this finish cooking for another five or ten minutes. And then we are done. This is dinner. Catch, clean, cook. Armadillo. You guys got to see it live. Thank you for joining us for tonight in our tiny little trailer that one day we will sell and help us pay for the house. So, the way that you guys can help us, please share our videos with your friends, with your family, with anyone, your neighbors. And watch all of our videos from start to finish. Like them. Comment on them. We'll comment back. And that will help us out um, so that we can grow our channel. And if there's something, like I said, if there's something that you want to see us do, just leave it in the comments. We read every comment. I will try my best to do them. Share this video to make me happy. And if you don't, then I'd be sad. So we have no money to buy me our subscribe. Ellie said we need money for art supplies, so you guys are going to have to watch all the videos so we can buy Ellie some art supplies. And subscribe if you are already. Hit a thumbs up and give us a huge like. I messed up, but I hope you enjoy <laughs> this. Kill, clean, cook, and eat. Alright guys. Hey, thank you guys all for, uh, for staying with us this whole time. And we're going to enjoy some dinner in our tight little area like this is where we eat at we got a little table here and we eat on the couch and no chairs baby you want to say bye to everybody see you on the next video peace all right guys we love you god bless and we'll see you on the next video